brothers and sisters of Celestial Energy, Brother Wisdom. All right, um, let's go over this information real quick here. Um, linking into master programs. One thing you must understand, understand, overstand, is that your spirit resides here. This is where your spirit resides. Spirit resides right here. All right. Your spirit literally operates your entire body. Okay. And your body is an organic machine. And your spirit is linked into this machine. All right. This is why your body is warm. But your spirit is that energy that keeps your body going. Which means that you're supposed to feed your body the right stuff in order for your spirit to stay active. Because your spirit, you know, can remember the physical properties um, help to strengthen the spiritual as well. So fruits, vegetables, nuts, grains are supposed to be our diet. And the energy and the frequencies and vibrations for the food we eat feeds your spirit as well. So therefore... You are linking into this food, and the energies from this food is linking into your spirit. So, for instance, you got tomato. All right, this is organic, all natural. All right, the, the physical properties of this tomato, the vibrational energies of this tomato, extremely important. All right, um, just like the uh, avocado. All right, avocados. You got the physical properties of this avocado, and you eat it, and your body links into the physical properties, but there are spiritual properties as well. It was avocado because it came from a root, it came from a tree. All right, so therefore, your spirit is able to link into these different programs. You know, this, this has a program of its own. All right, this tomato has a program of its own. All right, so we must understand that everything runs on a program. All right, everything runs on a program, and it's important to un for us to understand the program that <gasps> these things run on. Um, that's your apples. All right, they run on a program. Everything runs on a different program, and when you eat this food. You are, you know, uh, allowing your body to link into the frequencies and the vibrations and the energies and the metals, the crystals, the minerals, which also gives off a different frequency and vibration and that links into your spirit. It causes your spirit to become stronger. All right. Um, so as you begin to develop a bond with your spirit and especially in meditation when you go into meditation you're linking into your inner self what's your inner self your spirit okay you're linking to your inner self you link it to that program that runs this organic machine called body all right i'll link it to my inner self i strengthen the power of my inner self all right you do that all right so you're linking in. You're making yourself stronger. Oh. <sighs> Excuse me there. <laughs> Just getting up. Um, you're making yourself stronger, which means that you, you're increasing your levels of vibration. Now, I talked about the physical aspect with the... You know, just talked about the physical aspect, the fruits, the vegetables, nuts, and grains. We remember, we talked about the nuts. And how they have cadmium and um, manganese and zinc, and each one of those metals, like we said before, hold a different frequency of vibration, which feeds you, your spirit. All right, your spirit that operates this body. All right, now also, there are spiritual properties. All right, when you um, go into your state of meditation and you say, 
in meditation. I link it to the heart of the cosmos. Now, the cosmos has many different programs that it runs on. All right, the cosmos have multiple, multiple programs that it runs on. And you say I link it to the heart of the cosmos. That means you look into the cosmos, the cosmic heart program, the, the the heart program of the cosmos, which we're talking about the center of the cosmos. The center of the cosmos is somewhere in this infinite body. It's somewhere, but you can link in, you can link directly into it, which means that now you have access the heart program of the cosmos. All right, and therefore. You have accessed it, you can then operate in the ways of the cosmos. Now you've accessed it, now you made your body accessible to this program. Okay? Um, you can go into your state of meditation and you can say, I link into, you remember I talked about before, I said, I link into the, um, the bloodline. Of the universe, that's a different program. So now you're linking it to that energy that keeps the universe flowing, going. You're linking it to that infinite energy. Now you have access to that program. It's just like when you go um, online and you use Google, and what do you do? You you take this right here. And you access Google. Now you have access to whatever program that you're seeking for. All right. So you can go on Google and you can say um, dark angel or dark energy. Let's just say dark energy. So now you have access to that program. Now you can begin to learn from that program. Learn from the dark energy subject that Google uh, gives off. And then you start learning about oh, what is dark energy. Uh, one example is called phantom dark energy, um, where not only the expansion, the acceleration, the acceleration is also increasing over time. This leads to the scenario of the big rip where the expansion becomes infinitely fast, tearing galaxies, atoms, and the fabric of space and time itself apart. So now you have access to that program. Now you can study that program. Now, when you go into your state of meditation, you say, I link into the heart of cosmos you say um you say I look into the heart of the cosmos now you have access to the that, that program in the heart now you can learn about the heart of the cosmos you say I link into the heart of the cosmos and you sit there and you may be listening to some ohm or some other frequencies or, or music or whatever now as you sit there saying you link into the heart of the cosmos, you're learning the heart of the cosmos. All right. Your spirit linking into this cosmic program is a powerful hyperlink. All right. Your mind itself is a powerful um, supercomputer. I mean, it's, it's greater than a supercomputer. And then these Saxons have already said it to scientists, that, you know, the, the mind literally makes the supercomputer look small because of the information that can be accessed. All right, so when you talk about, you know, thinking of the heart of cosmos, your spirit is now sharing information with that cosmic heart program. I link into the mind of the galaxy. All right, now you're pairing up both the galactic mind program because you got to understand that you have a galaxy, you have a universe, you have a star system, you have a cosmos and they operate just like we operate it's just that we're in the physical sense and they're in the cosmic sense 
All right. There's a mind, there's a heart, there um, might not be intestines, <laughs> but there are different energies that represents intestines and stomachs and and spleen and and you know there there are different um energies that represent that within the galactic body the universal body the cosmic body all right so therefore you access you're linking into that information like you link into that to to that type of um program you look into the information now you're getting the information shared you're sharing information your spirit sharing information from its uh, celestial makeup with the galactic program, the universal program, the cosmic program, the planetary programs. You see, I look into um, the spirit of Jupiter. All right, Jupiter's celestial body. It's a real body. It's a real planet, but then it has a spirit as well. Each planet has its own spirit. All right. Each planet has its own soul. So you say, I look into the spirit of Jupiter. Therefore, you're sitting there and now your spirit is sharing energy or sharing information with the spirit of Jupiter. And now this is like a hyperlink program and you're sharing information. And now your spirit is becoming more vibrational because now it has this knowledge of Jupiter and how Jupiter works how Jupiter operates and when you start hearing these sex and scientists come on um, these videos and start talking all the stuff you're like that's not what Jupiter is because you've already shared information you've already gained information that's why I'll be like these sex are talking about this this is about Mars I say that's not about what Mars is because I've already linked into the spirit of Mars and we shared information. So Mars knows about me. And I know about Mars. But this is raises your vibrations and your frequencies. Cause you to become a more powerful being. Remember, knowledge is power. Right? Just because you know what um, 1x plus 2y and that the hot the hypotenuse of one x plus two y that's that's not power, all right? That's limited knowledge. That's limited knowledge. You gotta understand these Saxons want you to have a limited knowledge. They want you to only focus on the things that they did. All right, that's what they want you to do. They want you to focus on the things that they did, on the things that they created for you. Because they're only allowed to have a limited amount of knowledge. Like I say, you see those who are doing this right here. And they're very educational, but they're shaking. That's because their energies was not made for them. They don't have the proper elements in their celestial bodies to hold this type of power. Some of them have spontaneously combusted trying to get information because the information does not belong to them. Some of them have dropped dead trying to gain information. All right. There was a, um, hold on here. Hold on. Hold on. Okay. So I'm going to show you the scene of the Raiders of the Love Stark. All right. And this is like the final scene where, um, this, uh, Saxon woman wants to get all the information and basically I told you in the movie that they, their bodies are not designed for this so give me a second here
I remember she said she wanted to know everything. You can see in that scene, all right. Um, you can see in that scene that the Saxon woman wanted to know everything and she was given everything, but then at a certain point, she says, Okay, that's too much, I can't take it, I can't take it. Stop, you have to understand when you go into these programs and you say, Give me a Infinite knowledge. Hmm. Your body be able. Your body better be able to contain this infinite knowledge. All right. When I go into the state of meditation, and I link into the mind and spirit of the cosmos, and I say, "Give me infinite knowledge." I have a spirit. I have a soul. These beings don't have a soul. They only have a spirit. Your soul holds that information. So the information comes up from your soul. Your soul is that bottomless pit. You as the original beings were, you know, I can say blessed with a soul. That bottomless pit that can hold infinite amounts of knowledge and information. Which you can use as power, as a weapon. Basically, that information will churn up in you and be like, I know how to use this. I know how to use that. I know how to use that. You know, so this is this is what about linking in. This is about linking in, about taking yourself into that higher mindset, which causes you to vibrate on an extremely high level. So you say, I link into the infinite energy of the cosmos. You're talking about you looking into the infinite energy of the cosmos. That means that you have a desire to share your spirit, the energy from your spirit, the cosmos constantly. It's a constant sharing of information. I've done, I did that a long time ago. I did that a long time ago. It's a constant sharing of information. So it's like you constantly get this information. But you got you have to have a soul. And these Saxons don't have souls. That's why the one Saxon woman was like, you know, you go into meditation and then you got to stop and you got to put your hands up, up under your, your legs. And then you, and you got to do that for, put your hand up under your legs for about five or ten minutes. And then you go back to meditation again because that energy is rising up and it starts to make their body feel funny. All right. It starts to make their body feel funny because they are linking into a program that didn't create that or didn't manifest them because you got to remember they are created creatures. They're literally created creatures. So when you're talking about linking in, you're talking about tapping into a hyperlink program. Remember, this is a supercomputer. 
Your spirit resides here. This is where your spirit resides. It's like a, a covering. And your spirit resides there. And you are the one who your physical body and your spirit will tell you, I need more energy. So many people think that, well, I'll give some more fruit, some more vegetables. Your, your spirit wants celestial energy. That's what your spirit wants. Your spirit wants celestial energy. So I link into the infinite programs of nature and the cosmos. Teach me how to protect my realm. I link into ancient knowledge of building structures and technology. You know, you, this is what you're doing. So you're linking into all of this. And like I said, when you link into it, you make, you're accessing this program. Now you're making yourself accessible to it. And you're bringing yourself into a place of power. All right. Like I said, this is why he gave us religion. So people could link into Jesus, knowing that Jesus didn't exist. Link into God. Who is God? Link into Allah. Who is Allah? Arms, legs, legs, arms, head. And that was a, 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 a creed by us. Arms, legs, legs, arms, head. And these assassins went and made a religion out of it. And created Islam. Right? Which Islam and Christianity are one and the same. They pretty much, you know, the Quran and the Bible kind of like correlates each other. That's because it was all written by the Catholic Church. <laughs> it was, they're the ones who wrote both of those books. Yes. So, um, they want you to link into those um, non living programs. And like I said, when I was younger, and I had issues, and I was like, hold me, Jesus, please, or hold me, Lord. Hold me. And the priest used to say, you feel the Lord, you can feel the Lord holding on to you and grabbing you. And I was he, screaming and yelling, I was going through problems and crying, and I realized that nobody was holding me. <laughs> so, you know, that's when I started having an awakening moment, that this ain't working. You know, you're trying to link into this Jesus program, but this Jesus program doesn't exist. That's a false program. <laughs> That's all it is, is a false program. Are people trying to link it to the money and make the money? So, you know, you got to make the money work for you and you to work for the money. But you have to work hard for that money, which means you got to go and put your time in. Can't link into that. Can't link into the money. It's a physical thing that was created to get physical things. You can't buy no spiritual. If anyone say, well, you know, give me some money and I'll help you raise your vibrations. No, stay away from them. Stay away from them. I'm just telling you. Because money cannot raise your vibrations. It only takes you. A link to the heart of Pluto. I link my heart into the heart of Pluto. You know, so you go here in your heart. Your heart program is now linking to the heart program of Pluto. Now you learn about Pluto as you sit in your meditation. You learn about Pluto. You learn about how Pluto operates. You know, how it works. How the, the, the planet spins, the system works. You know, you learn about the things of Pluto. Pluto is an extremely high planet. I linked into Pluto long ago, and the Saxons want to tell you that Pluto is a very cold planet because it's far away from the sun. They know nothing about Pluto. They know nothing about it. Pluto makes an extremely hot planet. It's one of the hotter planets, and it has its own sun. It has a couple suns, and that's what that's what happens. You know, you you learn the cosmos. That's when people talk about the sun and the moon and all this stuff here. And I've been listening to brothers and sisters talk about the sun and the moon. And they haven't linked into these programs, these multiple infinite programs to find out how they operate. You have to link into them. 
The sun is a program. The moon is a program. You can link into those programs. I pull in the power of the moon. That I may have the power of the moon within me. I pull in the power of the sun. That I may have the power of the sun within me. I link into the heart of the sun. I link into the spirit of the sun. When you say I link. You're doing this right here. You're making a connection. Alright. You're making a connection. That's an unbreakable chain. Nothing can break it. Nothing can break that chain. Now your energy is linked into the sun. It's linked into the moon. It's linked into Jupiter. It's linked into Mars. It's linked into Mercury. To Venus. I link it to the star, the Taurus star system. Now you're you you're going to meditation before you know it. Your your energy is linked into the Taurus star. So all these links, you gotta understand when you talk about links. You're talking about you going in within the microverse, and the microverse is going within the macroverse. You got all these energies connected to your spirit and your body and your soul, and it's constantly feeding you, constantly giving you information, constantly pumping out knowledge to you. That's what it is to link. All right, I'm going to be linking into Bing very soon, and I'm going to be doing the breakdown of the periodic table elements and it's going to take maybe three or four sessions to do this because there are a lot of elements that are within our bodies this physical bodies contain all those elements and all those elements are connected to different planetary bodies all right plutonium belongs to pluto polonium is another planet polonium the planet Polonium. Oh, yes. All right. Uranium belongs to Uranus. We got the Mercury. We have Mercury within us. That's, that's the planet Mercury. We got Venetian energy within us. We have Neptunian. You know, we got Saturnarian. You know, <laughs> all those, they're within us. Titanium. There's a planet Titanium. That's a planet Platinum. Yes, planet Titanium is one of our moons. Planet Platinum is the other of, of our moons. We have two moons. Yes, and their planet, planet Titanium. Mm -hmm. So these are planetary bodies that are within us. And we link into them and more. And we raise our vibrations and our frequencies and we become more powerful. We become, become, become more energetic. We become more um, um, in tune, which means that our frequencies rise at an extremely high level. And then when these other planetary bodies in the cosmos and all certain frequencies, you'll hear that frequency in the language that you speak. If you speak English, you speak English. If you speak um, Martian, you, you hear it in the Martian language. And that frequency will come up. And then you hear, okay, this is happening right now, or that is happening right now, or this is getting ready to happen right now. You know, that's why when I, you know, come and give you video, videos and be like, okay, guys, this is this is this is, this is going to be happening. I'm already tuned in, and that frequency has come to me, and it's letting me know this is what's going to happen. So I'll let you guys know this is what's going to happen. You know, it's all about being linked in. When you're linked in. You make it access to those infinite programs that's out there. All right. So just want to share that with you all. That would be uh, a really good, some really good information for you all. All right. So that's about it. Um, you know the deal. All power to the multi chakra celestial and jelly beans. My cash ring with you forever, ever, ever. Remember, cash brings change, not peace. Much power to you all.